make something clear which uh, could not be clear previously in that class so that is basically on uh, uh, job design and the, in the uh, previous lecture we uh, thoroughly discussed the model of the job design what kind of the things in the job design are necessary for an organization to look at and uh, how a need based perspectives of motivation and the process based based perspectives of the motivation enable an individual on a job to enhance uh, his performance uh, that is very important for an organization to consider uh, uh, so as to lead uh, uh, the individuals to perform at highest level uh, in that organization so we have thoroughly discussed on uh, that particular uh, matter now we will look at uh, job characteristic theory uh, which has basically two ingredients the first one is the three psychological uh, states of the people and five motivational uh, properties of the task these two are the basics of this uh, job characteristic theory we will uh, in true spirit we will explore these two dimensions of this theory and we will understand what are these three psychological states of the people and how uh, five motivational properties of the task uh, help an individual on the job to uh, perform at highest level so the our the uh, today's lecture learning outcome will be uh, the course participant will develop their views of the job characteristic theory three psychological states of the people and five motivational uh, properties of the task and finally uh, course participant will evaluate how three psychological states of the people and five motivational properties of the task play a significant role in their life means their life in the organizational life in the organization in the uh, the jobs you are performing in that particular job how these factors affect you as an employee as a as a as a uh, as a worker uh, on that job so how they these these factors play in your life as an employee so we will you will be able to evaluate your own uh, positionality with reference to your job in that organization so this is uh, the learning outcome so based on that we will look at this job uh, characteristic theory what this characteristic theory is talking about job characteristic theory approach basically uh, is uh, uh, designed to uh, look at two dimensions as earlier i discussed uh, at that one so the first one is three psychological states what are these three psychological states when you look at these three psychological states so basically uh, these are uh, experienced meaningfulness of work experience responsibility for the work and knowledge of the results these three psychological states when you have uh, a feeling of a psychological uh, state of the mind that you think that this job is meaningful the work is meaningful and you think that you have a responsibility for your work and your knowledge is important for the results to achieve so this sort of psychological state this sort of the feeling that you come up within the organization on the job that you are performing this means that you have these three, three things to inculcate in your mind and that is the job of the manager the job of the leader if let's say uh, in, in a very detail if employees experience these three states it is sufficiently high level they are likely to feel good about themselves and respond favorably to their jobs this means that uh, if you have uh, good understanding clear understanding of these three psychological states and you uh, you are uh, um, you are very uh, clear about what kind of the results that organization is expecting from you what kind of the knowledge that based on your knowledge you are hired at that job so you need to you need to be very clear 
your knowledge your responsibility for that work your uh, uh, your experience uh, your experiencing of uh, uh, the work is a meaningful for you as well as for the organization makes a it uh, makes a uh, you know mm, uh, meaning for the organization so that 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 carry a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, purpose for the organization so that is very very much uh, uh, clear to understand if you uh, are very clear about these three basic uh, concepts and your uh, your attitude your uh, uh, state of the mind is very much clear about uh, your role uh, on the job with responsibility because you are uh, you are on their job uh, based on your knowledge to produce some results and you must experience that the work is meaningful for you and for the organization as well so this is how uh, uh, plays a significant role in enhancing your uh, performance otherwise here you can say if you think uh, you are knowledgeable, you are skillful, uh, but your attitude towards the job is not a uh, not positive one, so you may not achieve those results. Although you are knowledgeable, although you are, uh, you know, skillful. Similarly, if you do not fulfill your responsibility, if you, you think, uh, uh, it's okay. I'm on the job. I am doing this and that. So it's okay. Uh, the things are going well. Um, if you take it uh, as uh, taken for granted, uh, because you are in the office, because you are there, you, uh, because you show your attendance. So that's not enough. You have some responsibility, the degree to which individual feel personal accountability, personal responsibility for the results of the work they you are supposed to perform over there so unless you will not have a feeling like this so uh, this means that something is missing so this psychological state to inculcate in your mind is the job of the manager why those managers are there in the organization because this is their responsibility to inculcate these sort of feelings in in you so your mind must be very much clear about your responsibility, your uh, accountability for the work, uh, for that you are there in the organization. So that's very, very important. So therefore, I guess these three important things, you are feeling about the work that is meaningful, not only for you, but for the organization that is meaningful, that's valuable, that's worthwhile. So that's why you as an individual, you must feel your work is meaningful at your end as well as at the organization. That's why you are there. Second most important psychological state is responsibility. You are accountable for your work. You are accountable for the results to produce. Your result uh, uh, which are desirable for the organizational uh, uh, level. So if you, uh, with your accountability, personal accountability, personal responsibility, if you provide uh, those results, you give those results to the organization. This means that you are mentally very much clear. You you know your responsibility. You you know the accountability uh, element uh, of your job. So that's the second most important uh, psychological state. The third one is you must be knowledgeable. You are a person uh, uh, who must uh, understood uh, continuously improving your knowledge because organizations are the jobs are not static jobs are dynamic as earlier we discussed it very thoroughly so the nature of job is dynamic with the passage of time um, uh, in this particular 21st century you need some skills you need the knowledge uh, in order to uh, give those results which are uh, uh, which are in line with the uh, competitive market so that is why your results must be um, up to the mark. So that's why uh, 
that is the third if you feel like that if you uh, uh, your uh, your readiness towards uh, acquiring knowledge and skills uh, as a uh, lifelong learner if this feeling is in in your uh, personality uh, you as an individual uh, uh, feel like that so this means that the third psychological state is very much clear and this helps you a lot when you reflect our when uh, look at the uh, second objective of the today's lecture is evaluate your own uh, own life as a as a as a worker as a worker whatever the job you are doing performing look at that job think about these three psychological states evaluate yourself either you have meaningfulness of your work either you have a um, uh, a responsibility for the work or not do you have the knowledge to produce the results which you are producing or not so these kind of the questions will help you to think about this particular knowledge and applying analyzing and then reaching at the evaluation level and 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 you will be a, a self evaluator you evaluate yourself do not evaluate someone other evaluate yourself apply this theory three psychological states in your own life if uh, you pass these three psychological states this means that you are a successful worker you are psychologically fit worker in the organization your psychological state is very much clear that is up to the mark now come to another important uh, dimension of this theory that talks about five job characteristics these five job characteristics play definitely a vital role heckman and olham suggest that the three psychological states are triggered by five job characteristics now when you look at these five job characteristics they triggered by these five job characteristics you your psychological state is basically triggered by five job characteristics these five job characteristics play a significant role in developing these three psychological states for example what are those skill variety the degree to which the job requires a variety of activities that involve different skills and talents in that particular job if you have this sort of uh, uh, situation if you have a high degree of satisfaction towards having uh, these variety of skills which are required to perform excellently your job this means that your skill variety is rich enough the degree of uh, its acceptance is very high so you are a successful person and this triggers your psychological states which is related to your knowledge and uh, results the third psychological states and at the same time this will trigger the first psychological state because your work is meaningful for you work is meaningful for the organization that's why you have a uh, you have a variety of skills you acquired those skills so that you should give importance to your job come to the second uh, uh, characteristic that is task identity and that is again very important area the degree to which the job has a, a beginning and an end with a tangible outcome job task identity nature of the task what kind of the task you are performing what the task is demanding what the task nature is all about how you have to uh, perform in that particular task how you have to uh, complete that task what will be the processes 
what kind of the things you need to you need to do to achieve that particular task so that has a beginning and that has an ending point and the in between there are processes there are uh, uh, so many things so you need to identify you need to understand your task nature first when you will uh, uh, identify the nature of the task then you will be able to manage your task perform your task and achieve achieve a tangible outcome of that task otherwise if you will not identify your task if you will not uh, make sense of your task then how it is possible that you will provide uh, you know a desirable result you will uh, you know link with uh, uh, a meaningfulness for your uh, your your job you will um, uh, you will have a kind of uh, you know accountability for your job so unless you will not identify your task come to the third part that is task significance how important is your task why you are there in this particular job what kind of the things you need to you need to perform how this uh, play a significant role in your life and the life of the organization with these kind of the things what your uh, how your role in the organization affects the uh, environment of the organization in order to create an organizational citizenship behavior so how you think that uh, you uh, your job affects in the lives of the workers and the people in the organization both in uh, immediate organization and in the external environment so because you have you have an attachment with that job your identity is attached with that uh, that particular organization so if you as a matured person giving a lot of importance to your task your task identity is very clear you have variety of skills and you give meaningfulness to your job and you 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 are a a an a accountable person for your task you are result oriented person in your task this means that you you have uh, affected in a very positive manner the life of the organization inside and externally whenever you have an interaction with the uh, people similar to that organization and other other around in the market so you will you will give a lot of meaning to your job so that's how you can understand how these five psychological uh, five uh, uh, job characteristics play a significant role and they trigger the three psychological states of the mind of an employee the uh, fourth one is autonomy this autonomy is uh, is very important because if you will have no autonomy then how it is possible to uh, to perform your job for that this autonomy makes a great sense and because of this autonomy you are there to uh, uh, decide what to do and what not to do and if you you are a person you have variety of skills you have task identity you give lot of importance to your task you must have freedom to decide what to do what not to do in line with the uh, the uh, job design and the nature of the job and its importance of the job and what are the results you need to uh, produce and for that what kind of activities you need to be involved in those activities uh, in order to achieve all those desired results so that's why for that you must have a certain degree of freedom in making wise decisions on way to your job performance so that's very very important the degree to which a job allows an individual uh, substantial freedom independence and direction to schedule the work and determine the procedures for carrying it out so that's i think very clear so to what extent you need 
uh, freedom to what extent you need uh, some space for making wise decisions in order to perform those tasks and finally the fifth most important characteristics of the job is feedback what is the mechanism of the feedback in the organization either you are getting feedback or not is there someone who guides you or not is there someone who who monitor and evaluates you or not so that that plays a significant role so if feedback mechanism is there and the degree to which the job uh, activities give the individual direct and clear information about the effectiveness of his or her performance so this is this is the most important area for example you have some uh, uh, lackings in the variety of skills so there must be a feedback so listen these are the areas where you need to improve your skills this is how you have to identify your task you you could not identify your task so this feedback should there and at the same time uh, someone must be there excellent you have rightly identify your task you have given a lot of importance to your task you have variety of skills in this job you are performing very good uh, very good you you take wise decisions you have this uh, freedom in your uh, uh, this organization where your creativity could be enhanced so in this way so if uh, uh, the feedback like this is given so this may uh, makes a lot of uh, things for the uh, employee uh, to enhance the performance now we will look at uh, this chart uh, which uh, uh, talks about uh, uh, how these uh, the, the relationship how the relationship of these psychological states and uh, uh, five characteristics of job play a significant role uh, while uh, you know enhancing the performance of the individual the performance uh, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, the employee when you look at the first column core job dimensions these are the five core job dimensions as right now we ex uh, discussed skill variety task identity task significance autonomy and feedback and look at the second second Sir. second slide second slide so that is uh, the uh, uh, the slide that is uh, mm, that is about the three psychological uh, states three psychological states how these three psychological states uh, is linked with your five core dimensions you the, with these uh, these uh, lines indicating what uh, skill variety task identities task significant enhances triggers meaningfulness of the work and at the same time personal and organize uh, organi uh, personal and work outcome is also linked with these things in these uh, you know lines so if you understand the core dimensions of the job the five core dimensions and its effect on psychological states and definitely these three psychological states will have an impact on high internal work motivation high quality work performance high satisfaction with work and low absenteeism and turnover so there is a mutual links with all this that's why this job characteristic characteristic theory plays a significant role in enhancing the performance of an individual for the growth uh, and development of an uh, an employee the the organizational leader the organizational manager needs to understand the dynamics of this job characteristic theory 
otherwise you will not be able to understand uh, what is going on in in the organization if manager understands these five dimensions how some specific influence on the experience uh, the the psychological uh, states of the mind as earlier we discussed meaningfulness of the work responsibility for the outcome of the work and the the results which uh, with your knowledge the actual results of the work activities so if these three states are are triggered very positively with these five dimensions uh, core dimensions of the job they will definitely influence your uh, motivation performance and and satisfaction and uh, low absenteeism and turnover so this is how you can understand uh, this theory and finally finally you can also uh, uh, look at this uh, uh, thing with an addition of implementing concepts for example combining tasks now you have just added one more uh, column before core dimensions of core job dimension and that is implementing concepts what kind of that concepts combining tasks as earlier we discussed in the job design what uh, uh, horizontal loading of the work how how this affects on the skills and the uh, task identity and the task significance forming uh, natural work units establishing uh, client relationships vertical loading opening feedback channels so with these addition of these implementing concepts and how these concepts affect the core job dimensions and the, how these four di job dimensions affect the psychological states and the performance now the in the light of the previous slide here we have just added one column and that is the first column that is the implementing concepts so with this here you can understand how this job performance is enhanced in the last i will just briefly conclude this uh, particular um, theory job characteristic theory in the light of the today's uh, lecture so this theory is basically focusing on two important aspects one is three psychological states which is uh, uh, the experienced meaningfulness experienced responsibility for the outcome of the work and knowledge of the actual uh, results of the work activities these three psychological states are triggered by five core dimensions job dimensions which are skill variety task identity task significant autonomy and feedback if these five core dimensions of job are there they trigger the three important psychological states which widely which uh, which which play a significant role in enhancing the high internal work motivation high quality work performance high satisfaction with the work and low absenteeism and turnover so they play a significant role uh, uh, at the end when you uh, link uh, some basic concepts of the job design and other kind of the things, when you look at combining tasks, forming natural work units, establishing client relationships, vertical workloading, and opening feedback channels, so they, with these addition of the concepts, so they again, uh, you know, affect the whole performance of the organization. So in this way, we can understand how this uh, uh, theory play a significant role in enhancing 